In order to create an authorization within DTS, the first step is to click Create New Document. From here, we're going to select Routine Trip TDY Trip. Once it loads to the next screen, we'll have to review our information to verify that everything is correct. If it is, we can continue without updating. Otherwise, you can open your profile to make necessary changes. Next, we need to select the dates for our travel. In this example, I'm going to use the week of October 16th. Our TDY location is next, and for now, we're going to use Duke Field as our location. Depending on what type of travel, your travel by will change. I'm going to select this as if I were to be driving my personally owned vehicle. As you can see, it's already filled out my leaving on and returning information below, and I'm selecting that I'm choosing to leave from my residence and returning home. Since this trip will be multiple days, I'm leaving it set to multi-day trip. Otherwise, you would select whether it's less or more than 24 hours. My return will be the same using my private auto. And below for the trip details, we need to make sure that we're selecting the right options. For most travel authorizations, it's going to be a temporary duty travel routine. And for the purpose, it, depends on the, it also depends on the type. If it's an ADOS order, Mission Operational will most likely be your option. If it's something like Annual Tour, it's likely to be Training. In the description, you can put a short description of what it is that you're doing. If it is a conference, you'll have to make sure that you include that information below using the, the type uh, above. For now, this is not a conference, so we're going to continue. At this point, your where arrows would normally have loaded everything for you and you'd continue to book your travel as, as normal. 